Hello, this is the Teaser King coming to you with week five in the NFL, week six in the NCAA. Um, hope everybody's well and having some good luck. Um, you can go to my site, www.teacherking.com. Uh, I do have a chat, so you can chat with me. Uh, I'm not always on it. Unfortunately, I can't be on it all day. But if you leave me a chat, I will respond to it. If you have opinions on a game or things like that, uh, please visit my site, www.teaserking.com. You can see trends and history and free picks and whatever else you'd like to talk about. I'd like to talk about one of my strongest plays for this week. And this time I'm going to go to the NFL. And we're going to the West Coast, and we're going to talk about the San Diego-Oakland game. San Diego's six-point favorite at Oakland. And I'm going to dive into the game. I, I absolutely love San Diego in this game. Uh, San Diego, you knock them down to even to beat Oakland. Um, far better quarterback, far better coach. Strong team need to win and let's get to the other reasons when we look at San Diego Oakland when the games played in Oakland since 2005 the San Diego is 5 and 0 the favorites 5 and 0 in the series when they play either in Oakland or San Diego when San Diego is favored they're 9 and 1 so this tells me that they go to Oakland and they do very well there. They do very well as the favorite. There's no time change difference. A lot of the teams go from the east to the west. You have to deal with the time zone difference. It's a huge advantage here. There isn't any. San Diego's in Oakland. They're, it's in, they're both in California. If I go back to 2000 and look at the trends, when the game's played in Oakland, San Diego's perfect 10-0. and 0. The favorite is 9-1. and 1. So again, you have San Diego six-point favorite. Again, as the favorite, San Diego is 12 and one. The favorite in the series combined is 18 and two. And San Diego in the series as a favorite or a dog is also 18 and two. So you're dealing with a series where the better team generally wins, the favorite wins. And San Diego obviously has Oakland's number. Here you're dealing with a game that's even. So you're not worrying about, hey, you got to win by more than a field goal or more than a touchdown. Here, just win the game. It's a matchup that obviously favors San Diego. When you look at the, what I call it, the, the macro trend, that was the micro trend. The micro trend is team versus team. And it basically shows you the matchup. So it basically says, well, when San Diego plays Oakland, how does it go? You know, who do the refs bet on? Uh, what do what are the matchups favor? Does Oakland's defense bother San Diego's offense or vice versa? So it basically tells you, man, this matchup, San Diego, specifically against Oakland, San Diego's the play. When I look at more of my micro, I'll look more at since... Now this is like since 2008. Uh, San Diego is only six and five as a road favorite, and nine and two if you go against them as a road favorite. So when they go on the road, they generally don't cover the spread very well, or the extra six points helps them so they don't blow out a lot on the road. But when you look at Oakland, they're only eight and six as a home dog since 08, and if you go against them, it's 11 and three which means when they're a home dog, they generally lose. Now, you have the new quarterback, because they've gotten rid of um, Jamarcus Russell, who was terrible. So that was a good move, bringing in the kid from Washington. But basically, the trends aren't really changing yet. They lost to Houston. Uh, Jason Campbell's the kid. Sorry about that. Uh, Jason Campbell's helping, but they're still losing. They lost to Houston last week. They're playing more competitive at home, but they're still losing. Uh, this is a game San Diego 
wins. So when they psychologically go to Oakland, they go, well, we, we're going to win there. And in Oakland's mind, they go, oh, God, San Diego's coming. We, we can't beat them. It's in their minds. So that's what you have here. You have a, a nice matchup, San Diego. Now, uh, they're not desperate. They don't desperately need to win games like they tend to because they fall back in the first few weeks of the season the last few years. But here you have a nice uh, nice trend on San Diego. Uh, I love San Diego even if they fall back. You got Phillip Rivers. You're going to be able to complete it. They're playing very well. Uh, so I just look at San Diego to win this game. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please post them. I will respond. Uh, I have at least four very, very strong, what I call lock plays going. Three in the NFL, two in college. Um, go to the site. You can buy just the locks if you want. You can buy the whole package. Uh, I sell weekly packages as well as monthly and yearly. Um, and I've been very, very hot in college lately. Uh, well over 80 percent in college. Our pros have been very, have been very bad. I deeply apologize for my pro picks. Uh, a lot of the pros I'll play in the trends. I mean, I look for injuries, but I'll play the trends also. And a couple of my games got trended out last week. Um, I had a like a 10 and 0 trend that went bust. Uh, and you just don't expect it when you when when you have a trend where the team's 10 and 0 means they every time they cover in that situation and uh, I'm talking Miami New England I had Miami in the game and Miami is a home dog against New England it was perfect since 2000 and uh, you know you just can't foresee block punts block field goals kickoff returns it's a very fluky game normally they match up well against Brady and it's just that's just what happens. So that's why my pros have been down a little bit. Is the trends are not holding up. Uh, it's very unusual. Uh, I use this theory, and it's worked for years. Playing the matchups and the trends, and it's just surprising uh, what's been happening. But that's that's football. I think the strong teams aren't as strong, and the weak teams aren't as weak. Uh, I think St. Louis and Kansas City are much better than they've been and the spread has not adjusted. Um, and I just think that the better teams, Indy's got two losses, New England lost to the Jets, uh, the Jets lost to Baltimore, Baltimore is their loss. So everybody's kind of knocking each other out. And there's really, uh, there's very good teams and the bad teams aren't as bad. Even Detroit, they're playing well at Green Bay. They're playing well at Chicago. So they're playing better but not winning. So you don't really have that bad team that loses 35-3. to Maybe it's Buffalo, who's really no offense this year. I can never figure them out. I just don't get the pros. They can't get good quarterbacks and good running backs and receivers when there's so many to choose from in college. It just doesn't make any sense to me. Anyway. That's my analysis on, uh, on this game for this week, and I wish you good luck, and uh, this is a very strong play, so good luck to you. Have a nice weekend. It's the Teaser King. Again, go to my site, www.teaserking.com. Buy the picks, chat with me, whatever you like. Thank you, and have a nice day.